everyone. I just wanted to, um, after the show, uh, for the nerds, go over how we turned Godzilla from being just kind of an F-sharp Dorian to F-sharp uh, Godzilla, I guess. It's kind of a minor mode of Godzilla that you can have. So right here, uh, Godzilla basically is a nine-note mode that still has power chords in it. And when I played it for people who don't normally listen to microtonal music, I think it was particularly well-received because we didn't, once we altered the framework into Godzilla, we didn't try and play the correct translation at all to wrinkle their ear, which is something that you can do, and that I'll explain in a second. I think it also worked out pretty well because a lot of the intervals in the semaphore scale, which is the same as the Godzilla scale in 19, sound like five-tone equal tempered intervals a little bit since they split a fourth and a half, and those intervals tend to be received pretty well, I think, as microtonal intervals. So uh, Godzilla's normal scale is just F-sharp Dorian, and if I were playing that in 19 tone equal temperament, I would have this. So those notes are F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp. So the normal melody goes. So it just uses F sharp, E, D sharp, and C sharp. And then the power chord riff is basically entirely within that. But if you use this Godzilla 9 scale here that I'm about to play, you can still make all the power chords work, but some of them will change. So here's the Godzilla scale. It's a nine note scale. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a whole step of three nineteenths of an octave, but then we're going to change our semitone to one nineteenth of an octave instead. And that's going to allow us to cram in more notes and get some different scale degrees. So the 19 note names for this scale used here are F sharp, G sharp, A flat, B flat, C, C sharp, D sharp, E flat, F, F sharp, F, E flat, D sharp, C sharp, C, B flat, A flat, G sharp, F sharp. So you can see that we can fit in more notes. And we still get the octave there. So in order to play Godzilla in Godzilla, I'll explain the paracord piece and the chorus piece to just show you how it is deliberately mistranslated. So it's not it's not put into its best fit. If you just put everything into its best fit, you'd just get F-sharp Dorian again, but with 19-tone microtonal flavor. Now, there are some tunings where you can translate and try and use the best fit, and you'll have interesting number problems from trying to line things up based on the relationships. But 19-tone equal temperament is not one of them, because it can do diatonic scales just fine. It's just that the diatonic semitone would be two nineteenths of an octave and the whole tone would be three nineteenths of an octave. So here's how we change it. So here's the normal power chord riff in 19 without any messing with it, like without using Godzilla 9, just the diatonic version. So that's F sharp here, B, C sharp, G sharp, A, D sharp, E, B, F sharp. So those all work in Dorian. And it's really funny, I had to hesitate there to play it because I'm so used to the Godzilla version that when I played the normal version, I was like, what? So you can compare in this video if you're interested. So here's how we change it. Remember that our nine Godzilla scale notes are F sharp, G sharp, A flat, B flat, C, C sharp, D sharp, E flat, F and F sharp. So here in this opening riff, we change the B first, because B is not in the scale. So we change it to B flat. So that distance is larger now. So that's the first one. Those both work C sharp and G sharp power chords of all the notes of Godzilla, but then we can't go to A because we have A flat instead. So we just end up going one nineteenth of an octave there. So, so far we've only changed two po power chords from the normal one. We changed this one, the F sharp goes to B flat, C sharp, G sharp, A flat. And then we're gonna change these next two as well. This D sharp one, it has A sharp, which isn't in it, but we don't care about that too much because the same was true for Dorian. This D sharp normally goes up to E and B, but we're gonna change the D sharp to E flat and B flat. And those also, 
both work, right? Because E flat and B flat is in that scale and B flat and F is in that scale too. So it's really nice that it all works out. So just for comparison, let me go ahead and play the normal version once that's just F sharp Dorian diatonic, and then I'll play the Godzilla version and I'll say the roots of the paracords. So a normal diatonic version is F sharp, B, C sharp, G sharp, A, D sharp, E, B, and here's Godzilla, F sharp, B flat, C sharp, G sharp, A flat, D sharp, E flat, B flat, F sharp. So that B flat there is the same at both spots. And so it makes that relationship a little bit smaller. So that's the explanation of the power chord riff. Now I want to explain to you the chorus. So the chorus uses an E chord and an F sharp minor chord normally. And if you remember our Godzilla 9 scale, F sharp, G sharp, A flat, B flat, C, C sharp, D sharp, E flat, F, F sharp. We don't have E in there, right? So that means that functionally, whenever there are relationships in the song that have F sharp going to E, which is really common in this song, we're going to replace it with F sharp going to E flat. Like this part. That's E and F sharp in 19, but we want... And these notes are F sharp, E flat, C sharp, and B flat. They're not 5 EDO, but they have like that kind of sound a little bit that people are like, oh, it's splitting the fourth in half, so it's legitimate. The normal version is this. Right? These notes are higher. So that's the idea. Okay, so then in the chorus part, what I was doing was I was using a bass pedal, and then the diatonic normal part would have like an E chord, sort of like an E7 chord, moving to an F sharp minor chord. So here, uh, in normal diatonic land, it would be like this, like you'd have E, D, C sharp, B, E, D, C sharp, B, and then you'd have F sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp, F sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp. So you can observe that what's happening there is that we have like, on the root of each chord, we have its root, its flat seven, its six, and then its five. Uh, but the E chord is just more major and the F sharp chord is more minor. So then in Godzilla, what happens is you can still preserve the idea of having like in the bass line, a descending large step, a small step, and then a large step. But we can just do it with Godzilla instead. So, so this is where F sharp is, right? And there's E, so we're going to change it to E flat. So then I changed it to this. You have E flat, C sharp, C, B flat. And the best part is you even get back to the fifth that you had. So you can still use perfectly viable power chords to imply it, but now you just have this microtonal bass line instead, right? Of E flat, C sharp, C, B flat, E flat, C sharp, C, B flat. And then we have F sharp, E flat, D sharp, C sharp. So those still end up there. So the chords back and forth in the chorus, instead of being, Oh no, there goes Tokyo, go, go, Godzilla, is, Oh no, there goes Tokyo, go, go, Godzilla. And so then when I'm singing that F sharp, I also have to be cognizant as an anticipation of singing it high enough that it lands here and isn't just, It's, Right, getting to there. So that's sort of the idea. So I think that explains the main sections. And then one more thing that I wanted to point out too was that I was really inspired because the voices at the end, right, that come in, there's uh, the main singer sings like, history shows again and again how nature points out the folly of man. Woo, that's interesting. Because if I try and imagine it in my head in 12 tet versus 19, it's, it's very different. But they both sound really natural. You know, I added more notes in the melody so that it's... Uh, and normally it's just F sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp, like in the Dorian mode, but I added this, and then that puts it in the Godzilla scale. At the end, there's singing with, history shows again and again how nature points out the folly of man, and in the normal song, these are kind of like uh, slides that are expressive, but they don't hit on any notes specifically. But what's really interesting is, I think the singer randomly coming in on a note that just like sounds good with their voice kind of comes in on B flat in 19 tone equal temperament. You can listen to the song, but it's like if we have this, 
they kind of just come in right around there and sing some stuff. And so what I did was I translated these contours and layering in to the Godzilla 9 scale. And I can go over that with you. So the normal melody, uh, like, History shows again and again how nature points out the folly of man. Godzilla! So that's F sharp and F then E flat then D sharp, E flat, D sharp, C sharp. And the reason I do this little move where I have D sharp and then go E flat, D sharp is because it lines up with the power chords that are played in the power chord riff and then there's no clashing of like E flat and D sharp at the same time. Although you could have that and it could be cool and probably people wouldn't notice. I just thought it was a nice little touch. And then the Godzilla part is F sharp, A flat and F sharp instead of, that's the real minor third. We have to use that one because it's the Godzilla one. So we've got that. And then uh, layering in the second part, I did history shows again and again how nature points out the folly of man. And that's nice because when you have this, it's harmonized in Godzilla, but in sub minor thirds, basically. A flat, then G sharp, F sharp, then F, F sharp, F, E flat, right? And that's E flat is harmonized with the C, sh C sharp there. Let's see. Ah, dang. Like that. Okay, and then the third part that I layer in starts on that B flat that the singer basically sings in the real song. History shows again and again how nature points out the folly of man. Godzilla! And then this Godzilla is e echoing the ending harmony, which has a major third in it, which would normally be A sharp, but in Godzilla, we can interpret that as B flat. Godzilla! So that's B flat, C sharp, B flat. So it still fits with the chord on the outside. So then that melody altogether is a lot has a lot less movement. B flat, B flat, B flat, and then A flat, then C, and then A flat. B flat, C sharp, B flat. So that's that third one. And then the very last one is all the way up here because there's a singer starting on a really high F sharp for the tonic, but then they're just sliding around. And then I quantize that to these slots of F sharp, E flat, C sharp, and B flat. History shows again and again how nature points out the folly of man. I'm kind of proud of that little line there because it fits so well power chord wise with everything else that's going on. So then these notes are F sharp. Oops, sorry. F sharp, E flat, C sharp, B flat, A flat, B flat, G sharp, A flat, G sharp, F sharp. And then I have that high part saying Godzilla along with Godzilla. That's C sharp, E flat, C sharp. And then that sort of puts everything in like, in the ending chord, like a super major triad, basically. Okay, great. Well, hopefully this was an interesting explanation of how Godzilla in Godzilla kind of differs. Leave a comment if you enjoyed Godzilla in Godzilla and would like to see more microtonal music like that. And I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.